Hi, I'm Michelle Vaccarello, Senior Digital Editor of Pharmaceutical Manufacturing and PharmaQVD.com, and I'm here today with John Lynch, who is the CEO of Marion Pharmaceuticals, um, located at the Trinity College Biotechnology Institute here in Dublin. Um, John, thanks so much for being with us. I really appreciate it. No problem at all. Um, if you wouldn't mind telling us a little bit about what Marion Pharmaceuticals does, what we do here. Well, Marion Pharmaceuticals is a research and development company, and primarily we're, we're focused on uh, our GIPA technology, which vastly increases the bioavailability of a range of different drugs. And we're actually using that to take a whole series of parental medications and convert them to a tablet format, bringing you know, significant advantage to the market. So you're thinking about things, obviously, the, the convenience of the patient and some, some very big benefits in terms of quality of life there. Uh, we're looking at also some, some, some strong safety benefits as well. And, and again, you, know, you think of a parental medication, you give a lot of drug uh, very rapidly to the body. So converting that to an oral can actually bring some, some very significant uh, safety benefits. And obviously, uh, economics, because delivering parentals is, is, is very expensive, and an oral can, can really radically change the economic environment and, and you know, advantage not only the payer, but also the physician and, 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 the, uh, and the patient. So as you can see, we're, we're very enthused about what we, what we do here. Mm -hmm. And we also have earlier stage technologies we're developing. Uh, we've got our gyrus gastrotentor system, which is the, the longest uh, retention time of any system that we know. So it keeps drug in the stomach and releases there over up to 24 hours. Uh, that's a very exciting technology. And we have some earlier stage stuff as well that we're working out with, uh, with the university collaborators. Mm -hmm. um, and what is the benefits of taking a drug orally, the main benefits? Obviously, you mentioned economical... Yeah, I think that the main benefits is, is the convenience of it. Uh, again, it is the preferred route of administration by patients and, and physicians. Uh, it's far simpler. Obviously, the distribution channel through, through pharmacy, rather than having a doctor or nurse to actually deliver parenteral, uh, is a major issue. So uh, I guess uh, preference, uh, cost, uh, and also allows a drug get to, to a lot more patients mm -hmm. because the restrictions on, on um, you know, the ability to give a parental drug limit the, the access to patients. So mm -hmm. it's not, ju not just the cost, the actual infrastructure is also a limitation. Great. And can you talk a little bit more about your great pet technology, what the process and technology behind it really is? Well, it's a very straightforward technology. And, and essentially what we do, we, we make a physical mixture of the drug uh, and our guidepad absorption enhancers, which uh, have got grass status. And what that means is they're just regarded as being intrinsically safe. Um, we compress that into a tablet, we put an enteric coat on that, um, and therefore we get a uh, release in the duodenum, uh, and we get a very uh, large increase in bioavailability. So you know, in the clinic, the biggest uh, increase we've seen is, is a 46-fold increase in, in a marketed product, so we get a, you know, a very, very large increase for, for existing orals. But we're actually enabling products that simply cannot be given in an oral route because either their intrinsic um, you know, permeability is too low or because they're biopharmaceuticals uh, which uh, are going to get degraded um, mm -hmm. in the, the intestinal tract as well as being, being large molecules so they're very difficult to, to, to get absorbed. So uh, we're actually looking at, at a very, very broad range of, of molecules, small mo molecules right up to, to things like antisense which, are, which is quite a large biopharmaceutical, about 8,000 molecular weight. Mm -hmm. Um, can you tell us about what's going on in this facility, what, what you do here, you do the manufacturing, um, the R&D here as well? Yeah, the, the essence of what we're trying to do here is, is in a, quite a small infrastructure um, to actually capture the intellectual property associated with uh, our technology and, mm -hmm. and the product ideas that we, we apply to. So what we have is we've got um, analytical and formulation development uh, capabilities uh, and we also small scale manufacturing for clinical trials. Mm -hmm. And that allows us really to capture uh, all of the IP, all of the know-how, and also progress uh, programs very, very rapidly, which is obviously key in today's pharmaceutical market. Mm -hmm. um, I think you know, we have uh, validation through to a series of pharmaceutical partners who see our facility as being you know, uh, excellent and, right. and uh, are using it for development of their, of their programs. Right, so you have no plans for large-scale manufacturing? No, uh, absolutely not. Again, um, other people are good at that. We're good <laughs> at what we do. Um, mm -hmm. I think that's a, that's a good lesson in today's industry to, to stay good at what you're doing right, exactly. and, and let other people do, be good at what they do. <laughs> um, and can you talk a little bit about the collaboration with the universities? Yeah, we, we have a series of collaborations which are actually um, um, in many ways funded through the Irish Government through Enterprise Ireland. Uh, and these uh, encourage um, companies like ourselves to collaborate with universities to develop new technologies. And uh, we have a series of these uh, both here in Trinity College, uh, also in University College Dublin, uh, as well as in University College Cork. Uh, and these are looking at the newer technologies and allowing us to, I guess, uh, focus on, on, on the programs that are further advanced within our facility, while at the same time to, to think of the future and develop uh, you know, newer technologies for the future. 
future. Great. Well, thank you so much, John. I really Great. appreciate it.